Yeah, my name is EJ Fitzgerald from Cool Hand Customs. This is our Ford 4440 truck. Uh, the truck was, uh, well, it started out life as a 1940 Dodge uh, half ton farm truck. Good friend and customer of ours actually is building a rat rod version of this truck and went to buy the box and the guy he bought it from talked him into taking an entire truck. So it's been parked in our lot at the shop for probably about a year and a half. A uh, vehicle that my wife is in, in love with. So uh, I think probably about two months back, another customer came by, had an old Winnebago camper, and had a 440 big block in it. So uh, we went and picked that up and that's when this one was born. Well, we've been working with uh, E3 spark plugs for about three, four years now. And uh, they help us out a ton with our, our motor components, ignition parts, that kind of stuff. So uh, being that the Mopar green and their green is kind of close, and we wanted to add a bright color to the truck without making it stand out too much. So that was kind of our accent color. And then I really wanted to push the fact that it's got an old 440 big block in it. So it kind of draws you right over to it. Yeah, we uh, actually took the original frame from this truck, uh, measured all the body mount points, and built our own chassis using a original style uh, QA1K member. So it's got all 72 Challenger style torsion bar suspension under the front. Uh, I was trying to stick away from doing the standard Mustang two front end kind of thing that a lot of people do. and. Um, every year trying to push to do something just a hair different that no one's quite heard of. So that's when that came together. We put the 440 big block in, like I said, it was out of an old Winnebago that was rebuilt with a whole trick flow top end kit. It's about 620 horse, um, 576 foot pounds. Uh, the truck itself originally started as 26 horsepower. So we improved that just a hair. <laughs> um, Found the, actually did a lot of searching to try to find some steel wheels. Um, these were ones we got at uh, Wheel of Antiques. Uh, the 727 Torque Flight, we kept the automatic so we could race it. That was a um, B&M setup. And then as far as when it came to the brake parts and getting that together, we gave uh, Classic Performance a call, got the steering column set up, all the knuckles parts we needed. Um, it's not a kind of one of them bolt-on things where you're just going to call somebody up and say I need something for my Honda so you know we spent some time on the phone finding the right knuckles all the right shafts to get everything hooked up back in here and then of course called classic performance back up when it was time to get the brake set and make this thing stop so we've got a full front uh, 440 Mopar kit on the front which is all the spindles calipers, rotors, everything you need to do the front on. If you've got an old Dodge truck or a 440 Challenger charger, any of those. Uh, master cylinder, portioning valve, all of that stuff. Yeah, actually we uh, did it last year and I got to drive and she actually got chosen to do it last year, but we weren't expecting it, didn't have racing gear. So I got to have all the fun last year. So she's extremely excited to be able to go out to the track and race it. Um, it's quite the rush because the truck has 22 miles on it. So there's a lot of parts in here that we're probably not breaking in the right way, but I figure you're either going to break it in or you're going to break it. So, <laughs> so yeah, we're going to go out there and rip it up all weekend.